tangent to a circle. In this module, you will learn about a tangent to a circle. We see so many circular shapes around us in our day-to-day -day life. Practical uses of circle have been excessively explored. We can see circle used in arts, maths, as zero, etc. Circle is the set of all points on a plane that are a fixed distance or radius from a fixed point, that is center. Let us now learn about terms related to and relation between a circle and a line lying in a same plane. Here for this circle, the line AB and the circle have no common point. We see that the line is not intersecting the circle at any point. Hence, line AB is called a non-intersecting line with respect to the circle. Now for this circle, the line AB and the circle have two common points, namely C and D. Hence line AB is called a second of the circle as it intersects the circle at two points. What about this circle? Here we see that the line AB and the circle have only one common point, that is C. So we can say that line touches the circle at point C. In such a case, line AB is called a tangent to the circle. We call the point where the tangent touches a circle as a point of contact. Here, C is the point of contact as the tangent touches the circle at point C. Thus, we can conclude that the line intersecting the circle at two distinct points is called a second of the circle. And the line intersecting or touching the circle at one and only one point is called the tangent of the circle. Have you seen a pulley fitted over the well used to fetch water from the well? Look, here is the pulley. You will notice the rope on both the sides of the pulley touches the circle of the pulley at one point. If the rope on both the sides of the pulley is considered as the line, then it would be like a tangent to the circle. With respect to pulley, as the line touches the circle at one point. Let us understand the tangent of circle with the help of diagram. First, draw a circle with point A marked on it. Draw a straight line PQ passing through point A of the circle. How many tangents can we draw in a circle at a given point A? Let us draw some lines passing through the point A. For this, turn the line PQ about the point A to get different positions of the straight line. Are all these lines passing through the point A tangent to the circle? We can see that in various positions, the line intersects the circle at A and at another point, B1 or B2 or B3, etc. Hence, they are seconds but not tangents to the circle. But at one position, you will notice that it intersects the circle at point A only. See position of P-Q- of PQ. This shows that a tangent exists at the point A of the circle. If we turn line PQ further, then we can observe that in all other positions of PQ, it will intersect the circle at A. And at another point, say C1 or C2 or C3, etc. So you can observe that there is only one tangent at a point of the circle. Theorem 1. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Given a circle with center O and tangent MN at point P. To prove OP is perpendicular to MN. Let's prove this. First draw a circle with center O and a tangent MN 
to the circle at a point P. Now take a point B on MN other than P and join OB. The point B must lie outside the circle as if B lies inside the circle. MN will become a second and not a tangent to the circle. Therefore, OB is longer than the radius OP of the circle. That is, OB is greater than OP. Since this happens for every point on the line MN except the point P. OP is the shortest of all the distances of the point O to the points of MN. So, OP is perpendicular to MN. Hence, by this theorem, we can also conclude that at any point on a circle, there can be one and only one tangent. The line containing the radius through the point of contact is also sometimes called the normal to the circle at that point. Let us understand an idea of the number of tangents from a point on a circle with the help of an activity. Draw a circle by taking a point M inside it. Can you draw a tangent to the circle through this point? You will find that all the lines through this point intersect the circle in two points. So, it is not possible to draw any tangent to a circle through a point inside it. Next, take a point M on the circle and draw tangents through this point. We can see that there is only one tangent to the circle at such a point. Now, let us try to take a point M outside the circle and try to draw tangents to the circle from this point. What do you observe? You will find that you can draw exactly two tangents to the circle through this point. This can be summarized as case 1, case 2 and case 3. In case 1, we saw that there is no tangent to a circle passing through a point lying inside the circle. In case 2, we saw that there is one and only one tangent to a circle passing through a point lying on the circle. In case 3, we saw that there are exactly two tangents to a circle through a point lying outside the circle. If T1 and T2 are the points of contact of the tangents MT1 and MT2 respectively, hence the length of the segment of the tangent from the external point M and the point of contact with the circle is called the length of the tangent from the external point M to the circle. MT1 and MT2 are the lengths of the tangents from M to the circle. Also, they are equal in the length. Do you know that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal? Let us understand this by proving a theorem. Let us draw a circle with center Q and point M lying outside the circle and two tangents MN, MO to the circle from M. We are required to prove that MN is equal to MO. For this, we will join QM, QN and QO. Here we can see that angle QNM and angle QOM are right angles because these are angles between the radii and the tangents and according to theorem 1, they are right angles. Now in right triangles, QNM and QOM, QN is equal to QO, radii of the same circle. QM is equal to QM, common. Therefore, triangle QNM congruent to triangle QOM, this gives MN is equal to MO. The theorem can also be proved by using the Pythagoras theorem as follows. MN square is equal to QM square minus QN square is equal to QM square minus QO square equal to MO square as QN is equal to QO. 
which gives mn is equal to mo. Note also that angle QMN is equal to angle QMO. Therefore, QM is the angle bisector of angle NMO. That is, the center lies on the bisector of the angle between the two tangents. Let us try to solve one example. For any two concentric circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm, what would be the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle? Given TR is equal to 5 cm, TU is equal to 3 cm, we need to calculate RS. Now in triangle TUR, RU square is equal to TR square minus TU square. Hence, it becomes 5 square minus 3 square, which is equal to 25 minus 9 is equal to 16, which is the square of 4. Therefore, RU is equal to 4 centimeters, since TU bisects RS. Hence, RU is equal to US. So, RS is equal to 2 into 4, which is equal to 8 cm. Now, let us try to solve one more example. If tangents PA and PB from a point P to a circle with center O are inclined to each other at angle of 80 degree, then prove that angle POA is equal to 50 degree. Let us prove this with the help of diagram. Look at this diagram. Here angle APB is equal to 80 degree. Therefore, angle OPA is equal to half into angle APB, which brings to half into 80 degrees, which is equal to 40 degrees. Now in triangle POA, angle OPA plus angle OAP plus angle POA is equal to 180 degrees, which is equal to 40 degrees plus 90 degrees plus angle POA is equal to 180 degrees, which gives angle POA is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees equal to 50 degrees. Hence proved angle POA is equal to 50 degrees. We are given a circle with center B and a point X outside it. We will learn how to construct two tangents from X to the circle. First, join center B and point X, then bisect line segment XB. Mark A as the midpoint of XB. Now taking A as center and AB as radius, draw a circle. Let it intersect the given circle at the points Y and Z. Join XY and XZ. Thus XY and XZ are the required two tangents. Now let us see how this construction works. Join BY. So angle XYB is an angle in the semicircle. Therefore, XYB is equal to 90 degree. Can we say that XY is perpendicular to BY? Since BY is a radius of the given circle, XY has to be a tangent to the circle. Similarly, XZ is also a tangent to the circle. In case if center of the circle is not given, you may locate its center first by taking any two non-parallel chords and then finding the point of intersection of their perpendicular bisectors. Then you could proceed as above. Let us summarize all that we learnt in this module on tangent to a circle.